our op tempo. I mean, we're, we're just always on the go. And rightfully so. That's our fucking job. You know, I don't want to bitch and say, oh, no, this needs to be a softer army. You need to take care of us more. It's just, you know, we got guys and girls that that just go, go, go. They, they move. They move from duty station, to duty station. They go to a school to another school. They are constantly working sometimes. You know, they're, they're, there's no such thing as overtime. They can make you work 20 hours, 24 hours, whatever the case may be. Go home, get a few hours of sleep, come back. Let's do it again. Like it, it, it's a lot of stress on a lot of these these soldiers. Um, and leaders, you know, leaders, you know, uh, how, how many, uh, as a manager in a major department for like a Walmart, how many people do they have to take care of 50, maybe, I mean, you got star majors, first aren't out here that take care of 170 to 500, 600 soldiers and all their families. It's not just soldiers. You got to take care of the families as well. And so it's a lot of stress on these leaders. And then you had deployments and field cycles and rotations and all these other different training events it's nonstop for some of these people. And then, you know, you have the combat veterans who go and do these things down range, come back home and this shit don't end. And so it's sometimes just easier to take your own life. It feels like than get help. And so um, do I think we can improve the resources and the stigma um, for the suicide rate? Yeah, of course. I, but it's not like the military is not trying. I'm not saying the army is not doing anything. They, the army is the army has, dedicated things and, and structures and systems and people to help prevent these things but it also takes good leaders it's not just the army's fault it's young junior leaders senior leaders that need to understand their soldiers to the fullest when when they're triggered when they're acting different asking the right questions ensuring that money is okay that family's okay like it's more uh, things outside the job you know a manager at walmart don't need to worry about his his uh his co-workers and their families Hey, you show up to work today? Cool. Go to aisle seven and clean it. That's all he has to do. Me, I got, as a platoon sergeant, I got 42 soldiers I got to worry about and their families. I need to worry about his finances or her finances, what they're buying, any major expenses. I need to worry about their if their spouse has a job. Do they have someone to take care of their kid? Can they get to work? What happens when this guy goes to the field and it's a single, or it's a single mom that's a soldier? What happens to the kid? Who takes care of the kid? You know, like I have to know all of their finances, all of their plans, uh, you know, all of their emotional statuses, get them taken care of. And that's every single one of them. And that's just me as a platoon sergeant with 42 kids under me. You know, you add more and more rank to that. That's more and more people underneath you. So it's just nonstop stress. It's one of those stressors.